Hello, Slush. So good to be here. My name is Sam Sihbonen. I'm one of the founders and the CEO of Solo, and we're preventing epidemics with genomics. I was in medical school during COVID, and I realized that in order for us to prevent the next possible pandemic, new tools would be necessary. And about a year ago, when I dropped out and met my co-founders, Timo and Kerko, we were thinking of the risk that infectious diseases pose to us in the future. It's been estimated that there is a 27% chance of a COVID-like pandemic in the future, which is a frightening thought. Oh. And with the rise of antibiotic resistance, superbugs are getting more and more common. These are bugs that no longer respond to normal treatments. And in the U.S., if you are admitted in the hospital, you have a 5% chance of getting infected during your stay. And these trends pose a serious threat to our modern way of lives, our economy, and of course to us as individuals. But as ambitious founders, we wanted to figure out a solution, do the math. That's why we started Solo. Our answer for this was to prevent these infections from happening by building a genomic infrastructure that would help the hospital epidemiologists and doctors understand the infections happening on a genomic level, on a first principles level. There is a technological shift happening in infectious diseases. DNA sequencing is becoming more affordable and approachable. Post-COVID, almost every single laboratory in the US in a hospital has acquired a DNA sequencing device. And genomic surveillance and prevention has been shown to be by far the most efficient way to prevent these infections from spreading. There's also been a 10x growth in data in the last seven years. But at the same time, it takes about 14 days for the hospitals to take from sample to analysis of the results, which is way too slow to actually get any meaningful results. Putting all this together, we realized that a product or a service that would combine both the speed of analysis uh, ease of use, so you wouldn't need to buy from Titian anymore, and also reliability in, in the results, and also having a strong foothold in science. And that's why we built the Solo platform, to help the epidemiologists inside of hospitals and also public health level to understand the chains of transmission that are uh, causing the infections. Let us show you how the product can actually help in real life. So, meet Mark. He's uh, an epidemiologist working in a Pennsylvania hospital. Comes in the morgue in the morning, opens his laptop, and logs into the Solo platform. He sees that there's a new sample, genome sample, of a bacteria added to the platform, clicks the result open, and sees that a patient that has been in a hospital ward has been diagnosed with a bacteria that is high risk in both virulence and resistance, and therefore can cause an infection. And looking at the past genomes in the platform, he can figure out what caused this infection. And in this case, it's a patient in the same uh, hospital room as the patient under inspection. And with this information, Mark is able to advise the hospital staff to contain the infection, save lives, and money for the hospital. Let's look at another example. So this time, Elise, she's a medical director at a public health agency in the US. And they're also looking at the Solo platform, and they're investigating this nasty outbreak of bacteria in Pennsylvania and nearby states. And looking at the platform's map view, they can see the spread of infection and also the original hospital that was the cause of infection. They can see Mark's map, a uh, hospital uh, popping up on the map. 
And with this information, Elise is actually able to contact Mark, share all their learnings and their understanding of how the spread of disease has actually happened. And with this collaboration, they're able to prevent this um, small epidemic that is limited to one state or a few states from becoming a nationwide disaster. We've been working with some amazing people, for example, at Stanford and the CDC. And the feedback we've gotten from the platform is amazement in how fast and easy we've made the analysis of samples. Our goal with Solo is really to build this kind of a first real-time bacterial database to see how the bacteria are evolving over time. We want to produce a 10x ROI for the hospitals that we work with. Uh, right now, they're losing tens of millions of dollars annually. We want to save one million lives and become, the, become this leading database of genomes to enable better treatments in the future. Or in other words, we want to become the pioneers of preventative and proactive epidemiology. And why pioneers? It's because we're not building an entirely new technology. We're really building the railroads or the electric wires of the world of uh, bacterial genomics. So what's next? Um, we'll be continuing to work with our amazing partners. We've developed a service model that can take the 14 days down to three, five, uh, three days in analysis speed. And also, um, we're looking for our first US hospital pilot right now. Uh, we raised our uh, pre-seed round from Lifeline Ventures and Wave Ventures in January. Um, and yeah, uh, I think with the roadmap we're having currently, we see a pathway to getting our first $100 million in revenue in the next about five to six years. And that's, of course, only the beginning. Oh, this QR code has shifted. Nice. Um, so yeah, thank you so much. Feel free to contact me through the QR code or come talk to me at the event uh, here. Uh, hope you have an amazing slush. Uh, have fun at the after party. Um, and thank you so much for this. Bye. <laughs>